What's going on my dudes? One Step here with the Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Scarlet Witch and Marvel Rival. Today giving you some tips and tricks on how to play Scarlet Witch, some best strategies to be aware of, and of course some fun team comps that you can use today. Subscribe here for more Marvel Rivals content and let's talk about Scarlet Witch. Scarlet is an absolute menace on the field. She is a very true DPS kind of character, pretty much a glass cannon. So let me quickly explain her moves, her abilities, how she wants to play, and then I'll show off everything that we learn inside a fight. So that way you can see it in action. Her standard attack just absolutely drains your opponent's health. We are just melting and deleting our opponents. Now, a couple that notes about this move. It does auto lock, so like we're aiming there, but it will like auto lock onto our opponents. So it makes it easy for those that don't really want to aim. But also there is no way to get headshots because of that. So there is no critical hit. You can't actually like get headshots. You just drain your opponent's health from the body essentially. But you can just keep on holding it down. You see here, our opponent's just gonna be dead and we're not gonna move at all. It'll go to the next opponent. So it is really good. If you did not know, it's actually got a pretty good range range too like we're almost at the 20 meter mark and it's still gonna connect so keep in mind when you are this far away though it'll connect like this if you're not really aiming towards them like you would if you're like in their face it won't connect so just a couple notes there she does have a really good projectile though it does have a lot more range and that's her energy burst move this one you can get headshots with which is very nice so you see that we have ammo reserved for that move those are the icons right there in the middle filling up you can refill those a lot faster with our standard uh health draining move so you kind of want to mix those together you want to like drain their health get those back use them drain their health get it back use it drain their health get it back and so on because you can get critical hits here drain it critical hit there they go hand in hand really well especially if you're fighting bigger characters like Groot here you can just drain their health move around be really annoying stop and then throw it out there get a headshot keep draining their health and do it again throw it out there keep your ammo up with that move by draining their health and then once he's gone move on to the next opponent oh they're way over there no problem so she's pretty aggressive and in your face but she does have that projectile which is nice so she can do both stay away and also get up close now her dark seal move will actually throw down this orb and as if our opponents walk through it, they are stunned and then they'll move, stunned again. It's a great way to just like throw it down, stun your opponents. When they're walking through it, you just walk in and just start draining them. Start draining them. And obviously it works better if you throw in like a group of opponents because then they're all stunned. What are they going to do? I'll tell you what they're going to do. They're going to get deleted. So that's kind of a great crowd control move. We got in your face moves, good projectile, stunning move. And if you ever get in trouble, just use mystic projection and get out of there. We have, we, we can just get away. Because during your mystic projection, we are invulnerable. So we won't won't take hits you see here we're getting hit oh projection nope now we're not and yeah that works for anything so take advantage of that as much as you can don't be afraid to get in there and then if you get in trouble just projection out of there you do have two charges of that that do charge over time we can use it get out of it kill somebody and then get out of there again we're using it it's a great get in get out tool it's also a great way to get it to places you normally could like we can't jump up there but we can project up there and like attack opponent from behind they'll never see it coming wanda also has the ability to press jump while she's falling to like fall slowly so she can kind of fly i guess just another great way to get to places you normally couldn't this is also a great way to get into her ultimate move like this and i'll show you what it looks like this is insane yeah they're done they are deleted from the game it's just like a giant chaos energy explosion that will literally delete your opponents now the only problem i found with this as you can see it does take quite some time and you're not invincible during that so if they decide to target you uh during this uh you're gonna be deleted look how long this is and then like yeah yeah it's great but you need to be very careful with that for sure like for me in game when i hear scarlet witch start screaming that i go right for her. i target her instantly so just be mindful what about team comms team up what does Scarlet Witch offer? Well, she alone doesn't gain any benefit from other characters herself. She can give another character a benefit, and that character is Magneto. So right off the bat, he's my first choice, and here's why. So when we're Scarlet Witch and we have a Magneto on our team, he gains an extra move, this energy sword, and a really good projectile that does really good damage. As Magneto is a vanguard and or tank, he does need more help, and this move is a great move. If you can stand behind him and his projectile shield, he gains that. You can also zone out with him. So Magneto with Scarlet Witch, honestly, a given, but what else? Well, remember how her ult can just take forever? Uh, what can help during this? Cloak and Dagger is a really good support out the gate. But as you see right here, Cloak has an ability called Dark Teleportation, where he will enshroud nearby allies, giving them phase, which basically means they're invulnerable, invisible, and untargetable. Also granting them a movement boost. Scarlet Witch during her ult needs this kind of move. They're a great team up for Scarlet. And again, they're also just a great support. Because Scarlet Witch is uh, really in your face a lot of the time, you want characters that can stand back and ping your opponents for some good damage so that way 
way you can drain their already low health and just kill them like this. So characters like Hawkeye are really good for that. Black Widow can just snipe them off. Characters like Namor can do the same exact thing. Or you can go a different route and use other characters that are also in your opponent's face. Like they're going to be super distracted by characters like Wolverine. And you're just kind of chilling back 15 meters away, just draining their health while they're trying to fight off Wolverine. Same goes for characters like Iron Fist. You get the idea. There are a lot of great team comments with Scarlet Witch. These are just a few of my favorites. Let me know who yours is down below and why. Now that we've learned everything for Scarlet Witch, kind of know how she wants to play. Let's go show it off in a game so you can see it in action and see what I'm talking about. Have you subscribed yet? I sure hope so. All right, so we got a Magneto on our team. Perfect. That's a tank, first of all, and he's got an extra move because of us. So he's already an even better tank. All right, we are DPS, but we are kind of a glass cannon, so we do die pretty fast. We don't really want to go head on. We're probably going to go around and either flank it from the back so they, that way they don't expect it and see what we can do. We do have our projectiles here. We can like uh, just throw it out if we need to. And also we can stun our opponents as well. So let's try to start peeing this way. Stun them while we can so our opponents can have some help there too. So we're going to go around back. We're going to phase out to get around back so they don't see us. And these people just got to go. We're going to delete Iron Fist first. He's the problem. And as soon as we get low on health, we are going to just uh, phase out of here. So Iron Fist is gone. Perfect. It's going to phase out. Get over here. This Cloak and Dagger's also got to go. So does Loki, actually. Projectiles while they can. Splash damage does exist. Throw that. Perfect. They're kind of focused on our opponent. Oh, perfect. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, deleted. The objective is ours. The projectiles for the splash damage. Love to see that. We're going to phase out and go around back so that they don't expect this either. Haha, -ha, gotcha. Just drain him. Just drain him. He's too focused. He's too focused. While we're far away, projectiles. Perfect. And then just drain Bruce Banner. <laughs> He's dead, dude. Let's go up and around. They're not going to suspect this at all. Cloak and Dagger is just going to be dead. Just try like, help me, guys. Help me. No, she, she's gone. Oh, she's going to heal too off of that. All right. Splash damage is fine. Drain that storm while we can. Be annoying. Jump around. Be hard to target. Oh, perfect. Where are you going, Thora? Where are you going? We're going to phase out and go around everybody. We're going to phase out over here and then ult. See if they can even stop this. They're going to try to probably. Maybe. Uh, I wanted to kill Groot with that one. Let's phase out go around the Groot instead. Yeah, we're going to switch between the projectile. Drain him out as we can. Projectile, projectile. Drain him, projectile. Drain him. Keep going, keep going. Uh, projectile. Yes, yes. Okay, we got phase out. We are almost dead. Grab that health. Ooh, perfect, perfect. Phase out. You don't hit by those. Drain this cloak and dagger. She's going to be a problem. Oh, they have a Luna. Crap. Okay, we're going to phase out. Go around here. Stun him, hopefully. Yeah, that's going to be a problem for them for sure. Drain Thor. Projectile. And I think that is clear. That Oh. I am Groot is trying. <laughs> and that is game. That is is scarlet witch she is an absolute blast my dudes let me know your thoughts down below what do you think of scarlet witch in marvel rivals do you like her do you hate her is she your main let me know your thoughts down below subscribe here for more content take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more marvel rivals news guides reactions and more